How do we help ourselves or others around us take more action in life? One of the biggest mistakes that people make is just to think about their lives instead of actually taking action and moving towards their goals, their dreams, or whatever it is that they want more of inside their lives. Well, the major reason why people hold themselves back from taking action is because they want to avoid mistakes. They want to avoid making mistakes, having problems. Now, you can't avoid making mistakes, and I think this is a logical thing. You can't avoid making mistakes when we're learning and when we're growing, so we've got to change our relationship with mistakes. So what's the problematic way that most people think about mistakes? Well, they see a mistake as a failure, right? They see a challenge that they've had. So say, for example, you start something new and metaphorically you're crawling and then you stand up and then you fall down again. A lot of people see that as failure. Now, even more than that, the problem that so many people have is they actually think that because they've made a mistake, that they are a mistake, that they are a failure themselves. This is a misconception. Just because you've made mistakes doesn't mean that you are a mistake. Just because maybe you have failed in an area in life does not mean that you are a failure. And so this type of thinking where we see a mistake as a failure, it's like a reflection of who we are, is rooted in what's called shame. What that means is, is it just means that essentially when we make a mistake, we end up feeling bad about ourselves. And this is a big negative when it comes to creating goals and taking action because it's a deterrent from ever doing something again. Right? If you think about it, if someone has a mindset that's based on, well, if I make a mistake, I'm a failure, then they'll never try something new. This is really sad because that means they'll stay inside their comfort zone when they could be growing and evolving and trying so many new things inside life. So how do we think about this differently? Well, when it comes to mistakes, we need to see them as, first of all, opportunities to receive feedback. One of the principles in coaching we talk about is there is no failure, there's only feedback. And so if we take some action and it doesn't really work out the way that we wanted it to, then we can see that as feedback. Now this is a learning loop. It means that we take an action and say for example it could be something as simple as you go and uh, apply for a job and then you don't get the job that you're looking for. That's not failure, that's just feedback. Maybe there's something in the CV that needs to change. Maybe there's something in the approach that needs to change. Maybe it's not the right job for you and you've got to look somewhere else. It's all feedback. You just haven't found the success yet. And so this is a really simple thing in language, but I'm just going to write it up here. An empowered word that so many people use is, I just haven't found the thing that I'm looking for yet, or I haven't succeeded yet. That word yet, it presupposes that it's coming for you, and it presupposes that you will succeed. See, if we have a feedback mindset, the other thing that we also have is we have what's called a growth mindset. A growth mindset is when we know that we can adapt and we can change. And if we make a mistake, hey, I just haven't got there yet. This is something that I'm going to learn from and I'm going to keep on improving and growing until I achieve the goal that I really want to go for. Unfortunately, with this mindset, when it's based on I don't want to make a mistake because that means that I'm a failure, most people never grow, they never change. If you've had this mindset, I want to encourage you to adapt a little bit, start to have more of a growth mindset, open yourself up to more possibilities. And if you know someone inside your life that is maybe stuck here, maybe share this video with them or share this idea with them so we can help them start to have a growth mindset and know that success is coming. They just haven't achieved it yet. It's on its way. Now, if you've taken away any value from this video and you want to know more about ideas like this and how you can apply them to your own life or to the lives of others, then I would really love to invite you to go ahead and click the link below. You'll head over to another page where I'd love to invite you along to a live class that we're running. Uh, it's absolutely phenomenal, and it's all about how we can learn and grow as coaches and how we can help other people do the same. Go ahead and click the link below, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.